Ladies and gentlemen, we're getting ready to start the show for the Cherry Blossom Festival. But first of all, how about another round of applause for San Francisco Taiko Dojo? That was a lot of energy. That was a lot of energy. I had to go run some wind sprints before I came on here. I'm Robert Honda from NBC Bay Area, and I'm also the host of Asian Pacific America on Sundays, and I have the honor of being the MC for the opening of the Cherry Blossom Festival. Uh, I actually, yeah, along with my friends um, Mike Inouye and uh, John Katsuyama, we actually uh, MC'd the last couple of years, but they were virtual. And I think we'll all agree that it is great to be out here and in person, don't you think? Maybe one day, even without masks, we're going to make sure that people feel safe and uh, feel comfortable in doing whatever they want to do, wearing masks or not. Uh, but we want to thank you all for attending today because, uh, you know, this is a really important festival, maybe one of the most important culturally for the Japantown community and San Francisco in general. And I want to give a, let's give a round of applause to the organizers who kept this festival alive during the pandemic. These kind of festivals disappeared all over the country, but not here in San Francisco in the Bay Area. So we want to thank them, and we have a lot of people uh, that want to also thank you for being here. Um, not only am I uh, proud to be the MC, but I can't remember when I haven't come to the festival, because I grew up here in the Bay Area. And uh, so I've been coming here ever since I was, well, we don't have to go into that, right? We'll just say that I've been coming here a long time, but I'm giving it away a little bit because this is the 55th annual Cherry Blossom Festival. And that's a lot of years. And uh, I think that one of the things that has never changed really is just the community spirit and the community involvement in coming here. And so we want to thank you for making this. It's not, it's not such a special thing unless you guys show up. And so it's really uh, been a pleasure to be here. We want to kind of, we have a lot of people here who want to also welcome you here. So, first of all, I do want to point out that because it is the 55th year, you probably have noticed that uh, the logo has a frog on it. Just to give you a little history, new history here. That is a go-go. It's a court frog go-go. And go-go stands for 5-5, five, five, 55. And the theme is Sakura, which is a combination of festival and coming back. And that's why he is the symbol of this year, because it is 55 years of the festival, and we want to thank you all for coming back to see us in person. To join the celebration here, we want to start with a series of people, VIPs, who are here to welcome you. First of all, a round of applause for the festival co-chairs, Quillen Rusky and Matthew Nagatomi. Uh, hi everyone. Uh, first, I want to give it up for Robert Honda for uh, bringing us in. So let's hear a round of applause. So, like I said, uh, my name is Matthew Nagatomi. This is my co-chair, Quillen Rusky. We've been involved with the festival for 16 years now. Um, so it's been about half of our lives that we've been a part of this, building it, and watching it grow. So it's a really important year this year that we came back and we're completely full now. During Taiko Dojo, it was packed, the streets are packed, and this is the uh, first year we've gone from all the way to the top of the Coast of Laguna all the way down to Fillmore. So if you haven't had a moment, please, after this, go take a moment, take a look at everything, support our arts and crafts vendors, support all the businesses, and of course, get a Terry Burger, get a beer. But really, thank you all for being here. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Matt. I can't echo that enough. It's so exciting to see everybody back here in person. You know, after a three-year break, just the fact that you can see all these faces, all the people enjoying the festival and the community, and bringing back not so many old groups, but also so many new groups into our festival, and really following forward with that, the uh, sake Edo for this year, swinging forward in something new, something exciting. Uh, really, we want to thank everybody for showing up for supporting us, but also for our volunteers, putting in so much hard work. Most of them have been out here since before sunrise, helping out. Uh, so please, give them a big hand. Uh, thank them for the hard work, support them. 
Uh, and most of all, enjoy. That's what we want you to be out here to do. Have fun, support the community, and really keep coming back. You know, this is the first year back. 55th is a momentous year, not just because it's been so many, it's because it's the first year back. So we're excited. Thank you. Thank you all so much. All right, thank you guys. And again, uh, we really want to make sure that they appreciate what they've done and what all the people have done in keeping this festival alive. Uh, want to bring on another uh, VIP, but she's more than that. Um, like me, she grew up coming to the festival here, and so uh, even though she holds a lofty title now, she's just a San Francisco homegirl who has been coming to this festival for as long as it can remember, but now she's coming back as the mayor of San Francisco. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome London Breed. Year. It is always wonderful to come to Japantown to enjoy this incredible community. When I was a kid growing up just a few blocks down the street, we used to come here all the time, walk through the malls, talk to the merchants, hang out at Japantown Bowl. This was an important part of our community because we always felt welcomed here. We always felt that even though as kids and teenagers, you know how we can be, that we were always welcomed here. And so, as we celebrate over 50 years of the Cherry Blossom Festival in Japantown, let us remember for the past two years, we couldn't come together. We couldn't be a part of having conversations with one another and in experiencing all that Japantown has to offer. Well, that has changed. This weekend and next weekend, we will have an opportunity to enjoy Japantown like never before. So support the merchants, support the vendors, enjoy great food, enjoy some amazing performances on this stage. And as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to appreciate this Cherry Blossom Festival more than I ever have before. I'm really grateful to be here with so many wonderful people. But there's one person that isn't with us this year. George Hamasaki was one of the longest serving commissioners here in the city and county of San Francisco. He was the person who would always announce each person who went through the parade. He was always present, the MC, the announcer, very active during the Cherry Blossom Festival and an important part of the Japanese community. So at this time, I want to recognize George Hamasaki and his extraordinary work he is missed. Thank you so much. And with that, I'll turn it over to someone who has big shoes to fill, to Robert Honda, who stepped up, who really has made an incredible career for himself, but also remembers where he comes from and remembers how important Japantown is. Thank you so much, Robert, for being here all the wonderful people. Enjoy this weekend and next. The weather's beautiful in San Francisco. Thank you all for coming. Thank you, London. And uh, we echo her sentiments about George. We will be uh, doing a tribute to him as part of our program today because he really is missed and she's right. I wanted to be sure that I was emceeing today because I wanted to be a part of that tribute and also because well, George was a friend and a, a real community icon, and we really do miss him, and we want to make sure that he isn't uh, forgotten and that he's remembered uh, for his contributions. Uh, you know, uh, London touched on the fact that Japantown, there's a lot of things going on here. Uh, there's, it's not just all celebrations. There's a lot of issues going on in the Japantown. There's a lot of people that have to work to protect this community from a lot of different outside uh, influences, a lot of different things that are going on. One of the people doing that is the District 5 Supervisor. Please welcome Dean Preston. Thank you. 
Thank you all so much. I'm Dean Preston, District 5 Supervisor. Please give yourselves a huge round of applause for being here in person to celebrate the 55th Annual Northern California Cherry Blossom Festival. It is my pleasure and my honor to represent Japantown in City Hall, one of the most important parts of District 5. And we have had a tough couple years and I want to thank this community, everyone, for coming together and showing incredible resilience through this difficult time. I especially want to thank the co-chairs of the event organizers and all the folks who have been navigating these rules and this pandemic and everything changing. Every time you try to plan anything, there's a new round and we got to change all the rules again. And it's amazing that this was able to happen and that we were able to gather here in person today on such a beautiful day with the sun shining upon us. The theme this year, Sekiro, that has been mentioned really captures the spirit of moving forward together and of the resilience that Japantown and the Japanese American community have shown throughout this pandemic. And you all are a part of that by being here by helping and shopping at our local businesses and by sh showing your support in every way possible. And we have done that in our office, being proud supporters since I took office in 2019 of this festival. And the mayor's office and our office are united in our support of Japantown and on support of this festival. I want to echo the mayor's comments though about the sadness that we all feel in the loss of Mr. Yamasaki. And I have here a certificate of honor that I will be presenting to his son at a ceremony after this one. The longtime MC of the parade and is such an important voice in the community. And if we could just for a second be silent in honor of his memory. And so with that, I would like us to move forward and continue to celebrate. I want to thank you again for being here and thank all of the organizers and the volunteers, the mayor, all the community leaders that have come together so that we can be here in person together today. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dean. And uh, just uh, echoing what he said, we want to point out that all the vendors are uh, working for nonprofits. It's all a nonprofit, so don't worry about overeating or over drinking or overspending, okay? It's all for the community. Anyway, uh, obviously this is a big event for the community here, Northern California, the whole Bay Area, but it is also kind of a global event because they recognize this event in Japan and uh, they know that this is one of the biggest events in the country and certainly the biggest cherry blossom festival on the west coast so please welcome the consul general of japan in san francisco hiroshi kawamura hey uh, on the lead, supervisor team Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. And today, I am very happy to announce that the Cherry Blossom Festival is finally back. At the outset, my deepest appreciation goes to the Festival Executive Committee and Sakura Matsuri Inc. for working hard to deliver a safe and flexible event for all to enjoy. Leading this year's efforts are Executive Co-Chairs Mr. Viranasti and Mr. Matt Nagatoko and Sakura Matsuri Inc. Board President Mr. Aren Okamoto. They, along with the festival's Diligent committee members 
form an all volunteer core who have held two successful virtual festivals and now this year's in person return to Japan town. Today, I'm glad to be joined by Mayor London Breed and District 5 Supervisor Dean Preston. Thank both of you and the city and county of San Francisco for your recognition of Japan town and this community as part of this region's great cultural diversity. I would also like to take this opportunity to acknowledge the great efforts made by the entirety of the San Francisco Japan Town community to address the health, safety, and sustainability of this wonderful Japan Town, even during a very difficult time. The continued success of the festival, whether online or here in person, is made possible only through the tremendous support from generous sponsors, volunteers, performers, artists, community organizations, and all of you. Each one of you are a part of a vast network contributing to the strong and the historic relationship between Japan and uh, California. And my office is proud to support this festival and similar endeavors that bring Japan and Northern California closer together. As we look forward to all this year's festival has to offer, I hope you are inspired by the great variety of performances and exhibits to explore Japanese cultural resources available to you, especially those right here in San Francisco, Japan town. I hope that the Northern California Cherry Blossom Festival will carry its momentum out of the pandemic to an even brighter future. This festival held in this community at this time point in time is like, is like a new blossom after a long winter. It is a beacon of optimism and a symbol of the resilient friendship between Japan and the people of Northern California. Now, please enjoy the program and I am excited to spring forward alongside all of you. I thank you very much. Thank you, Hiroshi. Thank you very much for being here. It's an honor to have you here. You know, Hiroshi brought up a number of things about the fact that the uh, community here, well, it's dependent a lot on making sure that all the businesses and shops thrive, not just survive, but thrive. And uh, we have a lot of people here that are responsible to try to make that happen. One of them is the Japanese Chamber of Commerce of Northern California. So please welcome the president, Tsuyoshi Turumi. Japanese Chamber of Commerce of Northern California this year. First of all, thank you very much for having me here. I'm so happy to meet all of you in person, not online. Yeah, I'm so happy with that. And uh, the, uh, the mayor, we don't know, and supervisor of the dean, and Mr. Kawura, thank you very much for 
Uh, be together here. Uh, first, on behalf of the Japanese Chamber of Commerce of Northern California, I congratulate the Executive Committee of the Northern California Cherry Blossom Festival for its determined effort to launch this momentous impressive event after the past two years of virtual festivities due to the pandemic. First, held in 1968, under the leadership of Mr. Hisao Inoue, a past Jap JCCNC president, it is my great pleasure to continue this tradition of supporting Sakura Matsu. I hope that the great success of the Cherry Blossom Festival, supported by diverse communities of Northern California and beyond will add a message of peace to the world. We, we hope you will enjoy many of wonderful events, including signing performances, like informative an exhibits, like an and of course, delicious food over past two weekends in historic Japan town. I wish to extend our appreciation to the Northern California Chili Blossom Festival committees, sponsors, community leaders, and the hundreds of volunteers to make this year's festival a success and an unforgettable event. Thank you very much. See you there. Okay, thank you very much, Yoshi. Appreciate it. Go ahead and keep that microphone because they gave me a fresh one. I kind of wear these out a little bit. Thank you, Dave, for uh, giving me a new one. I feel kind of naked without a microphone in my hand, you know. Anyway, um, you know, uh, the community, as we know, has been going through a lot this year. A lot of good, some not so good. Part of it being that the community's had to recover from some Asian hate situations. And I would like to say that the community has responded and responded well. And we are very proud of that. There's a lot of uh, cultural pride here and it's not gonna go away just because of uh, the actions of a few crazy people. So we wanna make sure that people understand that we're out here celebrating who we are, what we are, and what we've done. And so we don't have to apologize to anybody and we wanna make sure that the community understands that. And one of the groups that has done a great job in making sure that that pride stays present in the community is the Asian Pacific American Heritage Foundation. They have done a lot to make sure that AAPI pride is not only there, but it's recognized as well. So please welcome the president of the Asian Pacific American Heritage Foundation, Claudine Chang. Hey, Claudine. Hey, Hello everyone. The sun always comes out for uh, cherry blossom opening. It's really wonderful to see all of you. Uh, while well, we talk about some of the tough times that the AAPI communities have been have had the last two years, and but I think today with the start of cherry blossom, I think we feel a sense of renewal, a sense of hope, and that's what spring is about. That's what the cherry blossom festival is about. So uh, we want to be here to. Uh, the Japanese American community is a very, very big part of the state of California's history. It's a very, very big part of San Francisco's history. So we are here today to celebrate the history, the contributions of the community, and I hope all, all you enjoy the festival. Have a good time! Thank you very much for that. Um, another group that has done a lot for J-Town uh, not only in terms of just the, the pride, but also the ability to keep on going, surviving as an entity, a community entity. That is some of just some of the work of the Japantown Community Benefits oh, District. Not, not nice. very, so, very please welcome before. Grace Horikiri. Grace, hello! Hello! Welcome to Japantown, everyone! Woo! It is an honor to be here on stage with our mayor, our uh, 
our supervisor, council general, and to welcome so many of you back here to Japantown. You know, the 55th annual Cherry Blossom Festival is just amazing. And, you know, like the Phoenix, we have risen. And Mayor and um, Supervisor Kristen, we are showing the city and the world how important it is to keep these community events alive. Speaking with a lot of the small businesses, events like this are really important to draw foot traffic back to Japantown. So thank you so much. Thanks to the Cherry Blossom Festival Committee for all their hard work. And please come back, not only this weekend and next weekend, but monthly, please. Thank you. Thank you, Grace. I like that schedule. Yeah, let's do that for months and days, okay? All right. Uh, you know, a lot of people go out and represent the community in a lot of different ways. And uh, it's a tradition in Japantown because uh, we have a queen and her court that go out, and they represent the community in so many different ways. We're going to bring on the queen who will introduce her court. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the 2021 Northern California Cherry Blossom Queen, Kelly Ashima. Hello everyone, welcome to the 55th annual Northern California Cherry Blossom Festival. My name is Kelly Noilani Ashima, and I had the honor of serving as the 2021 Northern California Cherry Blossom Festival Queen. I am joined today by First Princess Akiko Bates, and Princess Ashlyn Hobb. We would like to thank our candidate sponsors, the Japanese Chamber of Commerce of Northern California, Takarasake USA Incorporated, and Benihana for all of their support and generosity. It is my honor again to welcome you to the 55th Annual Northern California Cherry Blossom Festival. Thank you. There's like a beauty pageant, and then each state has like a princess or Miss California. Thank you very much. And then Thank there's, you, they can compete for Miss World and like Miss, Miss America. So it's like, it's like a We're lining up all the VIPs for a photo op later and a sake ceremony. Well, I think that's so they're not really standing behind me, they're just standing in the shade. <laughs> Aren't we glad that we didn't have this festival a couple of days ago? Oh my goodness. Anyway, so one thing, uh, and uh, London will remember, uh, you know, because we have usually have the parade, non-pandemic years, and the last couple of years we had it virtually, but still couldn't have the parade. And I still remember being on a float in the parade for NBC Bay Area and going by the judges stand and London looked at me and said, you have your own float? I didn't tell her the truth, I said it was mine. Anyway, but one of the things, we do really miss the parade and all the things that came with it, but part of the parade was uh, recognizing the sort of interfaith community that exists here in Japantown, all the different faiths, uh, and uh, we respect all of them, and we want to always pay tribute to them. And so we don't have the parade this year, but we want to bring out some religious leaders to add that um, faith component to our ceremonies. Uh, the Japanese American Religious Federation, the JARF Interfaith Community Prayer, will take place here. And we have several representatives. Starting us off will be the president of the JARF, Reverend Gary Barbari. Thank you. This is the first year that we've been asked um, to do a religious blessing as the beginning of the ceremonies. We almost always start with March in the parade. Usually we read the parade, but. Um, it didn't take long for me to realize that it was really clear to everyone why we wanted to start the ceremonies with a religious blessing. That we have been, uh, our lives have been sustained by the religious faith of our families and our communities during this time. The Japanese American community has deep rooted faith traditions in the Buddhist, Christian, and independent religious traditions. The very first immigrants brought with them their faith and their Christian customs and Buddhist customs and independent religious customs. And JARF is 12 congregations that are here in San Francisco and we're happy to bring the blessing today. In the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus has one line about what it's like to live with anxiety and have the anxiety and desolation and loneliness 
uh, being met by the signs that are around us in the natural world. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 25, Jesus tells us, Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you shall eat or what you shall drink, or about your body, what you shall put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet the heavenly Father feeds them. And you, and are you not more value than they? And which of you, being anxious, can add one cubit to his span of life? And why are you anxious about your clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. And yet I tell you, not even King Solomon in all his glory was arrayed like any of these. This passage reminds us that in the words of Tom Waits, the singer, you can never hold back spring. We have been holding back for two years to come together, but we realize when we see the blossoms of the cherry trees in the cities in San Francisco around our streets and in our parks, we realize that we cannot hold back spring, that life is returning, that the harsh and lonely time of winter is over, and we see the signs of spring around us. We know that summer is near and the fresh fruits will be filling up the trees and we will enjoy our time together. We're so glad to be back together for the Cherry Blossom Festival. If there were ever one coming out party for the city of San Francisco, how wonderful that it's the Cherry Blossom Festival. In Japan, the Cherry Blossom is an image of a kind of particular combination of joy and of sadness. In Japanese films and in a lot of Japanese movies, um, and, and books and throughout literature. The cherry blossoms are a time that we remember gathering with those we loved to view the cherry blossoms and to be around the, go around the country and watch the cherry blossoms together. And it has that sense of poignancy. But the real image of the cherry blossom is the falling of the blossoms and the end of springtime. It has that kind of poignant, nostalgic feeling. It reminds us of the transiency of life and the transiency of beauty. Last Saturday, I brought my income tax papers over to my accountant, and as I was passing by, I passed by Ben Kyoto on Saturday. And some of you know that the famous mochi uh, establishment, the, the mythological almost mochi at uh, Ben Kyoto, had closed on Thursday with a huge celebration of the life of service to all of us and the sweetness that they provided for us. And so it was closed and I was prepared to have my heart broken when I passed by the door. And as I walked past, someone inside the door said, Oh, there's Reverend Barbary. Come on in. Come in. Come in. Quick, close the doors. <laughs> and what was I can't, I can't really imagine what was going on. But there on the shelves was, was some mochi. And they were selling mochi to a few, few people who just happened to come in. Not privileged people, just ordinary people that the door was open. I was trying to figure out how did this happen, and I think I figured it out. I think that the family came in on Saturday morning and they were ready to pack all of the equipment, and put things in boxes, and to vacate the place, and they looked around and they saw... <laughs> yes, Lord? <laughs> And they saw that they had enough supplies and someone in the family, uh, they said, why don't we just make one more batch? And that's the way it has felt so many times when we have almost been defeated and we look out and we see on the tree outside of our window, one more blossom has blossomed. And it has with us that, that sense of poignancy and sadness and remembering all of the things that have come to us in the past, but you cannot hold back spring. Good afternoon. My name is Reverend Elaine Donlan from the Buddhist Church of San Francisco, and I welcome all of you to the Cherry Blossom Festival. Ujo me da nyo dai niu do jo Call upon the 
the Buddha to enter this space as we joyfully scatter flowers of welcome. the Shakyamuni to enter the space as we joyfully scatter flowers of welcome. Tathagatas of the Ten Directions to enter the space as we joyfully offer flowers of welcome. Hello, good morning. Uh, I'm uh, Reverend Masato Kawahatsu, the minister of uh, Konko Church. My nickname, Arigato Sensei. You know, Arigato me. <laughs> Not just thank you, Ari means to have God on the deaf couch. Uh, whatever we have, very difficult to have. Such as life or you know, this festival, but we still have everything. So that's the reason we say thank you, Arigato. Uh, but also sometimes thank Arigato means thank you for uh, difficult challenge. We go through a lot of challenge past year. Uh, there are the six million people passed away for the, uh, due to a uh, coronavirus. My family, one person died. Two people got uh, coronavirus, including myself. But uh, I was able to overcome. I am here today. I'm so thankful. Arigato. So uh, let's say arigato together with a uh, uh, senti arigato to six million people sacrifice for us. Six million people suffering. You should send arigato together. Let's chanting arigato together ten times. Arigato. Arigato gozaimasu. 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 Thank you, thank you. Uh, now I do a blessing, purification, light. Let's clap hands all time together. This is symbolically open the uh, open gate of the universe. Uh, at the same time, open the gate of uh, yourself to communicate together with the universe and yourself. Let's clap hands all time. Thank you. Now I bless all of you. Uh, All right, how about an arigato for our three reverends here, like, representing the interfaith community here in Japantown. Thank you very much. Also, I want to uh, also echo uh, the sentiments uh, of the reverend who talked about the Bien Kyoto uh, closing. I was uh, fortunate enough to be at a private ceremony as well as a public one for the closing of 
the great mochi shop uh, that was part of Japantown. I still actually can't believe it's not there. I still can't believe it's not there. It's been there so much a part of Japantown. But we want to thank uh, the Okamura brothers and Takajo brothers and everybody else who's responsible for keeping that business alive all this time. Okay, so uh, sometime during the time that I was talking, uh, I could hear people behind me saying that they would really like to have a drink. I don't think that that was for me, but we're going to have a sake ceremony for good luck. And afterwards, I know it's going to take a little time to do this as well as the photo op, but we would like to uh, ask everybody to stay because afterwards we are doing our tribute to George Yamasaki Jr. And we would really appreciate if everybody would stay and be a part of that because George was the voice and the the blessing presence of this festival for so long. So we're gonna go ahead and have our sake ceremony, but then please stay on hand for the George Yamasaki Memorial afterwards. Now, to start us off with the, uh, for the sake barrel breaking ceremony, the Kagami Buraku sake barrel breaking ceremony, we're gonna have Ben Nakajo, Ben, why don't you tell everybody what we're going to do and uh, what the toast is all about. Thank you. Thank you very, very much, ladies and gentlemen, for your patience. We are about to start this ceremony. This ceremony is probably at least 1,500 years old. As you know, rice is sacred to our tradition, and this is rice wine. And what happens on these occasions are that we celebrate and we scatter the sake to the gods. And the gods are the gods of the sun, and the moon, and the stars, and the wind, and the trees, the cherry blossom trees, and we are all here to participate in this blessing. So all of these VIPs behind me uh, are going to participate, and we are going to do, ladies and gentlemen, one, two, three of my cup. One, two, three, Oh, everybody understand? <laughs> yeah, perfect. So we all together. One, two, three, boom. Ready to go. One, two, three. There we go. There we go. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, Ben. All right, we're going to do the ceremonial toast as well, and uh, please indulge us as we use this excuse to drink. Make it as ceremonial as possible to make it look good. Everybody have a motion? Not sure. Thank you. Robert, do you have yours? Ladies and gentlemen, Serve yourself socket, that's in dangerous. the community, we officially open our 55th Northern California Cherry Blossom Festival. May we be successful, may you enjoy, and may you always be happy. Come by. Come by.
Thank you very much. And I want to thank all of the VIPs who came out to join us in our celebration today. London, Kelly, everybody. Thank you very much for being here. Let's have a round of applause for all the people that took time today to be a part of the festival. And of course, we know that they're staying to enjoy the festival as well. Another round of applause for all of our special guests and dignitaries who came to join us today. Thank you so much, everybody. The co-chairs of this year's festival, and as always, it's always a pleasure to receive money, right? All right, let's hear it for the Japanese Chamber of Commerce and their generosity. All right, thank you, gentlemen. I see they took my percentage out of there, huh? It was supposed to be an even number, I think. 